What are we right now? We're, it's, it's like 7.30, we're three and a half hours to showtime. I feel pretty good. I'm not that nervous. I think I'll probably get more nervous at like 10.30. Get back to me at 10.30. I woke up like five times last again. night, <laughs> hoping that it was time to wake up I, for this. I, I skipped class today for Glenn's Watch What Happens Live, but Glenn still went to class. Both classes. We're about to go to dinner, which is where we're gonna, we're gonna get calm our nerves down a bit. We're gonna work on his IMDB. Could add another, uh, add another thing to it. Glennie actually requested I wear this shirt. You can see why. Glenn, can I sign you to a contract for me right now? <laughs> just a personal just a friendship I, contract? I, I had Glenn on my payroll first. I, just, I can't believe that I let him off. Yeah, I know. Wait, what, I remember what that. do you mean? <laughs> yeah. I was paying Glenn when no one would pay him. I was like, this kid's got to get paid. And I just kept Venmo and money every Yeah, that was. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. well, how are you? Glenn. Glenn? Yeah, G L E N. This guy's already been hired. Yeah. He ran the whole street. He's really fast. He's gonna keep tripping. Nothing. You're a content guy now, Glenn. <laughs> Let's go, Glenny oh, Balls. Glenny Balls, Cinderella. Great for Glenny Balls because he's going under the knife right now. He's never had stitches. I knew when I first saw Glenny Balls, I would eventually see him at a dinner table with the CEO of our company, with a porn star, on his way to serve drinks as a 20-year-old on a national television show. Probably. I knew that. I, knew, I saw it coming. Touch my tubby. Go touch my tubby. Wait, you don't want to do me one more? Tubby. One more fucking. Mm. <laughs> How many people are not official? I know. Bro, bro, said good luck. Tell her I said thanks for your phone, bro. Oh, man. Are you, are you excited? All right, walk out and own it. You were born for it. You were born for it. Yeah, All right, here we go. Drinks, yeah. All right. Yeah, oh, let's go. Oh, let's go. Oh, <laughs> He doesn't need makeup. What's up, man? How are you doing? Welcome. Welcome. Very nice to meet you. Kyle. How are you? It's nice to meet you. Good to see you. Thanks for coming. I'm excited. Am I just standing on this boat? Am I going? Am I going? Am I going? A night this testosterone heavy requires a bartender who knows his way around some balls. So at the bar from the sports comedy brand Barstool Sports, it's Glenny Balls. <laughs> Glenny Balls. People are very excited you're here tonight. I'm so know. happy you're here. I'm excited to be here. Are you called show. Glenny Balls because your balls are really big? Or? No, actually, uh, like a year ago, I was making a New York Racing Association account to gamble on. And that was the name I settled upon, and that's wow. What I, I don't started. know what any of that means, but I like it. Uh, behind the bar, he knows that Saturdays are for the boys, but Mondays can be uh, too. From bar, from Barstool Sports, it's Glenny Balls. Uh, visit BarstoolSports.com. How are the Cardinals going to do this year? Uh, 95 and whatever equals 60, 162. <laughs> Very good. Six times, don't drink and drive ever. Thank you, dude. Saturday. Good. You did great, right? Uh, still don't do it. Nobody was better than you. Thank you. Any balls? Let's shift this way. Get your balls in here. I thought he was amazing. Lenny is a star in everything he does. The most talented guy in this room. 100%. Super Bowl party. Karaoke. First time I saw Forrest Gump. <laughs> Karaoke. This. He did great. I still don't know if he has big balls. I don't understand what he said about the Cardinals, but he did great. That was a good Cardinals prediction. That was a good Cardinals prediction.